all right guys so today's video is about how to connect s8 ultra to android phone without wasting much of a time let's get down to business you can use this s8 ultra smartwatch with or without your smartphone but in this video i'll show you how you can connect it to your android phone so the first thing to do here is to switch on your bluetooth your data and location of your smartphone so let's switch on our bluetooth our data or wi-fi our location so these are the three things you need to switch on on your smartphone once you have done that the next step to take is to scan the qr code on the watch swipe this way and you are going to see qr code on the watch so select that and you are going to see scan to download select the option scan to download you are going to see this qr code up on the screen now the next thing to do is to scan the qr code so i'm going to scan it i've opened my qr code scanner as you can see and it shows miwi tracker so select the link and let's see there's a link for ios and there's a link for android because you're using an android so you're going to select that and it's going to take you to google play store which you can see here so i've downloaded mine already so i'm going to select open so download and install it and once you download and install it successfully you are going to see this page which is the registration page you have to register in order to access this miwi tracker so how do you do that? You come to this register down here, select register and select agree. When you select that, select register once again, and you are going to see the registration page. Now you have to enter your email. So I'm going to enter my email here, perhaps almost then, and select get code. So I'm going to go back to my Gmail to see the code. As you can see, it says successful. So let me go to my Gmail and refresh. As you can see so i'm going to select that and you can see my code i'm going to select that and copy it then let's go back to my miwi tracker hub enter the code and input the password but please make sure the password is longer than eight characters and include upper and lower letters and numbers so i'm going to input one for you to see i'm going to input onicom onicom one two three four five so that is it and select register and you can see it is loading it says successful so once you have done that now you have to log in again so just come here and select login and you can see it is up so this is the home page of the miwi tracker the next thing to do here is to select the plus icon here and you can now scan the code here so let's use the scan code once again or scan device and select while using the app so we are going to scan that once again and as you can see it comes up with our devices relationship name so i'm going to select brother or you can customize it if you want so you can see the users and everything there are some private informations here i would say you should not give like the home address the school the grades you don't need all those ones you can just edit your name and you know add some things there okay so once you have done that you have edited the information then go back once again the next thing to do is to now open up the wi-fi of this smartwatch so go to the wi-fi option on the smartwatch like this okay and switch on the wi-fi of your smartphone so i'm going to switch on the wi-fi of my smartphone wi-fi tendering and I'm going to connect the Wi-Fi of my smartphone to this watch. So as you can see, it's connects seamlessly. If yours is not connecting like this, you can, you know, start a fresh or hard network and it's going to add up. Okay. As you can see, it has connected to my Samsung S10 here. So I'm going to select the option, back option here. And I'm going to try it once again. As you can see, it says successful. So you have to connect your Wi-Fi to your smartphone before this thing can work seamlessly okay now we can now go to the set phone book let's go to send phone book and let's put the number and name babs and i'm going to put a random number here select save and you can see that save so when i go to the contact here i'm going to see the number as you can see here before you are going to see contact entry but now because you have on the wi-fi and you have connected it you can see the option is now here. If I want to add another one, I can quickly add another one. 
Let me just add the random number again, save. And it's going to be there. So that is how to set up the phone book or hard contact to your smartwatch. You can also do some other settings here, like the alarm clock. If you want to add alarm, come here and add alarm and select save. And you are going to see successful. So every 1859, it's going to vibrate or ring out to show you that have an alarm working. The timer switch here, in case you want to have a set time to boot it up, as in to switch it on and to shut it down, just come here and select boot time, the time you want it to turn on and the time you want it to shut down, that is to turn off. Then select save and it will always turn on at that time that you set it to and it will shut down at the time you set it to so that is pretty much it and you can see my details are just shown up on the smartwatch which i'm going to cover for security purpose you can see it is showing everything my location and every other stuff like that Thank you very much for watching if you have any issue or difficulty in connecting your s8 ultra to your phone you can just drop it down there in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you out and i'll see you on the next one bye for now Peace.